Hi, my name's Chris. I'm one of the writers of the problems for the Australian Mathematics Competition and today we're going to go through a couple of the questions from the 2017 papers. Uh, this question was actually the upper primary question number 30, so maybe the hardest one on the paper, and it was also junior number 25, so the juniors had the slight advantage that this was multiple choice. Let's have a look at the question. A 3x3 three three grid has a pattern of black and white squares, so imagine a small black and white chessboard. A pattern is called balanced if each 2x2 two two subgrid contains exactly two squares of each colour as seen in the first example. So that's exactly the chessboard that we're talking about and every one of those little 2x2 two two grids has a diagonal with black and a diagonal with white. But there might be some others that we're interested in finding. The pattern in the second example is unbalanced because of the bottom right hand corner. So you can see here that we've got three white squares and only one black, which is no good. So we're going to count rotations and reflections as different. That makes the problem actually a little bit easier. So we want to know how many balanced 3x3 three three patterns there are altogether. The senior version of this problem asks for 8x8 eight eight, and you can find that video on the AMT YouTube channel. So, well, you might imagine that there are lots of these. In fact, there aren't that many and the juniors would know that there's only at most 18 because that was the largest choice for the answers. Maybe then you could just try to draw them all. And that's not a bad strategy if you have enough time, but we need to be a little bit more strategic than that. So let's see how we can do this. Well, let's just start putting some colors in and see what happens. Let's start with the black in the top left hand corner. If you think about it, if we started with white instead, then I could just switch all the colors throughout the whole thing and I'd end up with the same number of arrangements. So maybe we should only count the ones with black and then double the answer at the end. And that's our first key step. So let's see how we can fill out this top left hand corner and it turns out that there's only three ways to do it. We could go black black on the left and then white white down that middle column or we could go black black across the top and then white white in the second row and that's to make sure we've got two of each colour. Or we could do the regular chessboard thing and go down the diagonals with blacks and whites like so. But you might notice now that the second example is actually just a reflection of the first. If you imagine a line along the diagonal and you switched every block for the one in the opposite side, then you would get the pattern in the first example. So we don't really need to count these all again. Whatever we get from the first one, we can just double that and that'll do us for the second as well. So let's see how we can finish this off. Anyone who's done Sudoku will know that sometimes you need to give yourself some options for what you might need to put in place. And we're going to use that strategy here. But if we start with the top right hand corner, we notice that there are two whites in that square already. So we've got no choice but to put two blacks in those places there. The third row, however, we actually have some options. We could go black, followed by white, followed by black, or we could go white followed by black followed by white. And you can check that those are the only ways that you can complete that second row. So there are two options for this first case. But from what we said before, there are also two options for the second case. Uh, so this third situation is actually a little bit trickier. The alternating pattern of black and white here means we've got a little bit more flexibility about what we can put in place, which means we've got more to count. So let's have a look at what might happen in the bottom left square. It could either be black, or it could be white. And if we have a look at that bottom left two by two grid, there's really only one way to complete those. Now interestingly, in the second case, that's all that we can do because the rest are completely determined by the colors in place already. This black black in the bottom right hand corner means that we must fill out that grid with a white and a white. And then we've really only got a black to place in the top right and we're done. So there's one version of that. In that top situation, we've actually got a bit more flexibility. So we can go black, white, black, or white, black, white, just like we saw in the first example. And so overall, there are three ways that we can do this arrangement. So what's the total? Well, we've got two plus two plus three, which of course is seven. But remember, we assumed that there was only a black in the top left hand corner. So we need to double that answer and we get a total of 2 times 7 or 14. So I hope you found that video useful. Good luck in this year's Australian Maths competition. If you'd like to see the formally written up solutions, they are available from the AMT website.